the entrance board to the Komeho Alternative Technology Skills Development Center in Kaisosi, a building which has been developed using the stimulus of the big lottery fund. Uh, early in 1990, uh, Komeho Namibia was given a land by the traditional authority for developmental purposes. So they got some little funding to put up some uh, office structures and then in uh, October 2007 uh, signed uh, an agreement, got the funding from the Big Lottery Fund UK so which have uh, funded activities for um, to renovate the houses and also to implement some developmental projects in, in uh, in, uh, in this building, uh, they, uh, funded by the Japanese, is complete. The, the engineering work is complete, and we are now moving in for the where the fabrications to take place. And now, uh, across to the right, we have uh, another building which is not uh, which is semi-complete. We are going to complete in the due course, whereby we are going to use this as our storage uh, room and also where the first production line is to start uh, with the cutting and. Processing towards the next stage of production. A lot of uh, students from the professional training centers, professional training center, and also the um, unnamed uh, students who come to be based here with their uh, to do their practical trainings. Uh, and here we also have the machineries uh, and tools, mainly which was also purchased with the funding from the uh, Big Lottery Fund UK. Uh, arranging of machinery, different kind of machineries, doing different type of works. Some of them are not yet here, uh, and they are just the process to be moved in the. In uh, this the, is uh, the uh, Komeho Namibia ARTC uh, uh, plow. It is purely designed and fabricated by our appropriate rural technology center, and with the assistance from the German expert services uh, from German, who constantly came to. Um, help with the fabrication and also uh, with, with the planter and also with the testing of the planter. Currently it went uh, uh, two stages of testing with, the, uh, with this, uh, some senior uh, staff from Minister of Agriculture in, in Rundu uh, for testing and we are hoping that this uh, plant uh, plows also to enter the market in this next uh, agricultural cycle. This is the uh, reaper planter a purely Komeho Namibia's product, which has been uh, designed and fabricated at the appropriate rural technology center in Kaisosi. Uh, this came as a result of a competition which was run at the national wide by the uh, Namibian Agronomic Board to design uh, an appropriate uh, um, planter, uh, whereby Komeho uh, emerged victorious and received a, a national certificate in fabricating this beautiful planter. Not only just beautiful, also very reliable planter. So it, it, after, as a result of that one, we uh, fabricated over 40 uh, ripper planter, where uh, 36 of it was um, purchased by the project of uh, agronomic board funded by the European Union. And this 36 planters is distributed across the, uh, the nation in, in the Namibia, where it has been tested by the different uh, the different regions, the different extension uh, services. And uh, at the moment, we have received a very good response from the uh, Minister of Agriculture, and indicating the reliability of our, our, our prototype our planter, and really very happy with this planter. And this is a result of the funding. Uh, one of the beauty of this planter is that it is really a Namibian planter. It is uh, made with the wider wheels that's able to cope the different farming conditions in the, the whole uh, country and, and abroad, that the wheels are broad enough that it is able to it enable the equipment to move with a less force from the animals. And also, since we are more in a sandy area, it's more, it helps the implements and the animals not to be uh, tired. And we also in, incorporate a, a planter, a reaper, which is, it can go at a depth about 22 centimeter. As we know that the current scenario of global warming, we need to, uh, with an 
predictable or pat rain pattern, we need to conserve as much water as possible, especially with the small scale farmers. The reaper, what it does, it, it's ripping, it's breaking the compaction layer, and also at the same time, then it's helping to store the water uh, into the ground, enabling the crops to grow faster and also maximize the uh, limited resources, the fertilizer and the manure, uh, which is put in the, in the soil. It does also have the uh, component of it uh, uh, can plant and also it can uh, apply uh, my, uh, fertilizer at the same time. So meaning that it's also saving the labor uh, of the farmers and also increasing the yield potential. Okay, uh, this is the part of water and sanitation uh, product range, the uh, VIP latrine, ventilated pit latrine. Uh, this is one of the products which has been designed and uh, fabricated at appropriate Royal Retainer Center here in Kaisosi. Uh, the reason why we uh, fabricated and designed this product is that if you look across the whole region, <coughs> uh, most of the bushes disappear. Most of the people help themselves using the bushes, and this has become a problem since most of the bushes has been uh, cleared uh, for agricultural purposes and the people find it very difficult to help themselves. And also one thing is also health reasons. Mostly our uh, people help themselves openly and that help again to oh, it, it make matter worse that the, uh, the flies also spread again to the uh, okay, diseases. This is the uh, uh, VIP latrine. Um, also a new uh, way of doing it using many of the traditional materials, the thatch grass and the uh, reeds which is locally available and there's some few poles to put up the latrine. Uh, this is aiming uh, more the rural people also in terms of the availability of this material. In this video, John Moramey has described just a few of the products developed by the team at the Rural Technology Centre. The team determined to make a long-lasting impact on rural community life across Namibia.